What's up everybody, this is Moon Juice coming back with another Fallout 76 video. As you guys saw in the title, today we're going to be going over on how to farm unlimited ammo and unlimited resources such as aluminum and lead and some other materials that are key to crafting weapons on Fallout 76. Now guys, this is something that I have struggled with uh, really, really, kind of a lot in Fallout 76 as far as running out of aluminum as well as lead and just ammo. I mean, you run out of ammo pretty quick when you're fighting through hordes of Scorched and hordes of Pharaoh ghouls and as well as super mutants ammo goes by very very fast and to me I run through it a lot so this is one way this can be an AFK method as well away from keyboard uh, or away from your PlayStation I play on PS4 that you can use to generate tons and tons of ammo now guys just real quick before we started I did just want to say thanks to the support on the previous video if you guys haven't seen it I go over a death claw farm and out of farm I really appreciate the support um, and thank you guys so much so guys what this method includes is going into a workshop now I'm showing you guys some workshops on the map here there's one by uh, Flatwoods uh, it's a food processing plant and I think there's one up by the Ferris wheel now guys what what uh workshops are is basically a place that you can go and take over it's kind of like your camp you can build stuff there and then you can farm resources so as you guys can see we are up in the top right hand corner of the map now this is the resource you're going to want to take over is it is the munitions factory now it is up again in the top right hand corner of the map right next to that cabin icon which I believe is called the Bailey's Cabin, I believe is what it's called. But again, you're going to want to go up to this workshop, make your way up there. Uh, again, it is a little bit of a trek. And once you guys get up there, you're going to have to fight off a pretty vast horde of super mutants. So just keep that in mind. Uh, make sure you have the resources. Again, one thing that I do is I fast traveled or I discovered the Bailey family cabin um, and that way I'm able to fast travel and jump there it does cost a little bit of caps because it again in the top right hand corner of the map my camp is by vault 76 so it is kind of a jump but I mean when you're farming constantly farming ammo constantly farming aluminum constantly farming uh, lead it's super super nice to have um, and it, you know, the caps is worth it paying. I think it's like 40 ish caps is from where I jump to or from where I fast travel from. So once you guys get there, uh, you're going to enter an event. Basically, as you can see, that just came up on the screen. It's going to be claim the workshop at the munitions factory. Now, once you guys get here again, it's just going to be a lot of super mutants. Um, and there's just going to be a lot of, uh, super mutants. And then sometimes there's ferals. Uh, we ran into scorched as well, but mostly just super mutants. When you guys get there, be prepared. I think there's like level 26 is there. But as you guys, once you guys get here, there are some turrets and stuff in place here when we got here. Uh, but this is from other players coming in and building and then leaving and then building and then leaving, which is kind of cool because as you can see, we're kind of banking off of these other people's defenses here. Now, once you get into the munitions factory, go ahead and head inside. And the first thing you're going to want to do is claim the workshop. Now, you're going to want to have some caps because I believe here it cost me, let's see, I think it was like 67 caps or yep, 67 caps is what it cost me to claim the workshop. Now, if you guys have no idea what a workshop is, have no idea what they are, again, it is a place, it's like your camp, but a little bit of a better version that allows to uh, just be in one stationary side. You can't fast travel to it, unfortunately, once you claim it, um, but it is just a place that you can build outside of your camp as well. Now, as you can see, once I claimed the workshop, this green circle came around me, and then up on the top, there was a bar that started basically going up. Now, what this is, is claiming the workshop. Keep in mind that if there are other plays around, they can actually come and kill you. It is a P kind of initiates PvP. So make sure you have some buddies with you, or if you're doing it by yourself, just make sure no one's buy you in the map now right here is the actual ammunition factory this is what's going to be producing your ammo producing everything that you want now what you're going to want to do is when you get here you're going to need to build a couple of things so again make sure you have these resources so step one claim the workshop step two you're going to want to build resources and it's again just you build just like you're in the camp you just hold down whatever the building is for pc or xbox one uh now it does require four it's 20 power, so it's going to be four medium generators, or if you can build the bigger generators, build the bigger generators. So once you get that in place, so you're going to want to build the generators there. Now, another thing that you're going to want to do is that's how you're going to farm your ammunition. And we're going to come back to that as well. Um, and I'll show you a little bit more on how to operate that and how to load it up. So give me a minute. I'm going to show you how to basically farm the aluminum and place down the aluminum extract extractor, the uh, lead extractor, and then the oil as well. So 
once you are done with the placing down the as you can see here, we're, we're, I'm showing you kind of how we do it. Uh, we place it down and then you got to just attach the wires to the uh, ammunition, ammunition factory. It's basically just like building. It, it would be in your, you know, your normal camp here. My buddy, Dr. Penguin's helping me out with this. Um, and then once you're done, you're going to want to head out to the side, basically by that big old landing pad. And once you come out to here, there are some defenses as well that we're going to set up and we'll show you. So this right here is an aluminum deposit or an aluminum uh, ore deposit. So you can place an extractor or a resources extractor to come and farm that as well. Now, once you place that down, as you can see here, you just want to scroll over to your resources tab here. Again, this one does require, I believe it's 20 power. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. And there you go. It just snaps right in place, that resources extractor, um, which is great. It requires 10, excuse me, I said 20. So you're going to want to place that down. Go ahead and build the turrets. Now, just right up over the hill is the lead vein or the lead extractor. Here are some feral ghouls again. Be prepared. There are kind of a lot of mobs or kind of a lot of monsters that um, are in this area or that you can you can fight. Alrighty guys, now that you're taking care of the mobs there, uh, as you can see, I kind of ran into a couple of them. You're going to want to go back to that lead vein again and put that lead extractor in there. Um, and then just go ahead and build your generators just like normal. Again, just build it, attach the wires. It requires 10 power per extractor. So you're going to want to go ahead and just place those down. Again, just attach the wire like normal. Now there's just one thing I didn't cover in this video is around the back there is a place for a junk extractor. Uh, what junk extractor does, it'll it'll basically extract raw materials like cloth, springs, screws, and a couple other things. So again, there's some more mobs to deal with here. There's some feral ghouls. Again, these ones are actually pretty powerful. Um, well, strong, excuse me. I remember I kind of had a, a little bit of a hard time dealing with these guys, but you can set up defenses such as turrets, and there's a couple other defenses that I want to cover with you, but let's hurry and take care of these mobs real quick. Alrighty guys, so once you're done dealing with them, they do come in waves, so we were just basically defending the factory, and that's why they keep coming waves and waves of feral ghouls. Um, once you're done defending it, ooh, this was a super mutant trader that we actually ran into, which was really cool. He has a cow, the first time I've ever seen him, so definitely keep an eye out for this guy. He is just a wandering trader. Now this over here, what I'm sending over is a silver deposit. I, what, I'm not sure what silver is used for. Drop it in the comments if you know. I'm still unsure what it is. And then if you go over again to the right side, there's going to be an oil deposit or waste oil deposit. You can set up another refiner. You can set up a refinery there as well, like we've done with the oil. I mean, excuse me, like we've done with the aluminum as well as the lead. Again, I'm going to place it down. Requires 10 power. And this way you can get oil, which is crucial to gun crafting, uh, armor crafting. You can get the aluminum, which is armor crafting and weapons crafting. Well, sorry, not armor crafting. Excuse me. Weapons crafting and then lead, which is uh, somewhat lead weapons and mostly ammo. So these are really, really three important resources to have. Now, this factory is very easy to defend against other players. One tactic we have used in the past is we just board up all the walls. So we basically get concrete barriers and we just stack them up on all of the doorways. Um, that way we're able to basically keep other players out. Um, another thing we can do in this, and one thing that is super, super important, especially if you're doing an AFK method or one thing that me and uh, Penguin have done before is we've ventured away from the ammunition factory, done everything that we're wanting to do, and we've come back to it, is you can actually lock the ammunition or the re oil refinery or the um basically the am the excuse me i'm losing my words here the aluminum factory now locking it is just the same as locking a door basically what you do is you go into your build mode go into edit and you just go ahead and hover over it and you click l2 
Now, again, you guys can see here I'm dealing with more feral ghouls. Again, just be prepared to fight. They're, this this is not given up easily. Dr. Penguin died on me, unfortunately. <laughs> so I was in it. I'm almost dying right here, running around, trying to find the exit here. Again, this factory is like... I would say like elaborate. There's so many doors and exits and everything like that. So keep that in mind as you're trying to claim it. Um, keep other players out of it. Is there's a lot of entryways, a lot of doorways, and a lot of entry points. So again, we're going to hurry and handle these and finish the rest of these feral ghouls off. Alrighty, now again, last wave of feral ghouls, I believe we are three out of three, so we're done. Now I'm going to show you guys how the ammunition factory works. As you can see there, we have 35 10 millimeter rounds in just that time that we have been basically playing. So not very long, about well, about a little under 10 minutes. Now, one thing you're going to want to do is there's going to be a terminal over here off to the right hand side. You're going to go ahead after Dr. Penguin gets out of my way, but he just likes to be annoying like that. You're going to want to go ahead and use it. And what you're going to want to do is when you log into it, it's going to allow you to select all these ammunition types. Now, there is, I, we've been playing around with it. 10 millimeter rounds are the fastest, but you can produce any type of round that you want. Now, again, I'm not saying that 10 millimeter is the fastest. I haven't proven it, but that's just kind of what we found out. We were able, able to farm about 400 10 millimeter rounds very quickly. Um, and it was really nice. Now, this is a secret room that I'm going to show you guys as far as the AFK method to basically be able to farm. Now, you're going to want to come up to this room. It's right above the ammunitions factory. You're going to want to hack into that terminal. Now, once you hack into that terminal, again, come up these stairs, hack into the terminal. Really easy one. I think it's only like a level one. When you close this door, it actually locks from the outside. So you can lock yourself in this room, go and hide in a corner, and maybe sit here for 20, 30, 40 minutes. Let your aluminum build up, let your lead build up, lead extractor build up, let your oil, let your junk extractor build up, and as well as let your ammunition build up. And then there you go. You just keep doing that, rinsing and repeat the process. Again, one thing that we do and my, my group, our raider group, I guess, is we just set it all up, get our defenses up, board up the walls, and then we come back and basically loot and harvest everything. One defenses you can set up is these big old, uh, these huge um, turrets. Again, these things do a lot of damage and can really take out a, a take out a lot of stuff. Another thing is is this landing pad. Now, this is a really really interesting thing. So, alongside with the big old turrets, as well as the turrets that you can just set down and kind of build your own base, this is a vertibot pad. Now, it spawns a level thirty vertibot which is great for defending against those feral ghouls. You're just going to want to repair it. Go ahead and go into your modify, uh, which is really, really simple. Again here, and you're going to just want to need the re proper resources to repair this. There you go. You select it. Go ahead and click X, which is repair. And boom, once you click yes, you're going to get, again, a level 30 vertibot, which is super, super awesome helps you defend against those super mutants, can help you defend against other players, and really keep this whole camp and operation running. So I know this video was a little long, guys, but this is one way that we have been harvesting in aluminum, harvesting a ton of ammo, and as well as a ton of lead, which has really been helping us advance in the game and building weapons. I really hope this video helped. Make sure you hit that like button if this worked. Comment below what you guys think, and if there's any other methods you guys are using to uh, farm ammo, lead, and aluminum. And make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, because we're doing a ton more Fallout 76 videos to come. Thank you guys so much. This is Moon Juice. Have a great day. Peace out.